solve the following rational equation. Now this equation happens to be in the form of one fraction equals another fraction. So we could do the shortcut of multiplying the diagonals and setting them equal to each other. But unless you're absolutely sure you know when it's okay to do this and when it's not okay to do that, um, it's better off to just find the LCD and multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD and go from there. So that's the approach I'm going to use here. So the LCD for the given denominators of 3 and x would be 3x. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. And then we're going to go ahead and cancel. So we have an x on the bottom here cancels with this x. And on the right side, we have a 3 and a 3 canceling out. And we're left with 3 times the entire numerator, which means put it in parentheses. So the whole thing is being multiplied by 3 and not just the x being multiplied by 3. That equals 4 times x. And now we're going to go ahead and solve the equation. Clearing out parentheses, we get 3x plus 3 is equal to 4x. And let's take away 3x on both sides, move the x's to the right. So they're gone on the left, and we have 3 equals x. So there's our solution to the rational equation. Now let's check the equation to make sure that x equals 3 really does make this a true statement up here. So back to the original equation, x plus 1 over x equals 4 over 3. So let's go ahead and put in x equals 3. And we should get a true statement if it's a solution. So does 3 plus 1 over 3 equal 4 over 3? And this is 4 over 3 on the left equals 4 over 3 on the right. Yes, so that means x equals 3 is a solution to our equation.